Hello, my friends, and happy slightly belated Valentine's Day. It is, you know, technically over now, but the Valentine's event is still going on in game, and I'm very, very excited. I actually just got finished recording on Nova, full disclosure, so I have seen the Valentine's items, and I have seen the Purple Pony, but you guys, I cannot wait to go back there. It might be my new favorite location in the game, period. <laughs> Purple Pony. It's so cool. I'm very, very excited about the outfits that we're going to pick up today and fill in maybe some of the tack that I'm missing from Valentine's sets. And oh, it's just going to be so much fun. Let's get started. Okay, I didn't actually put on any Valentine's tack on Echo Mint here because there's some better tack we're going to pick up today than Valentine's. Oh, I'm so excited. And we're gonna make a trip to purchase a North Swedish horse because I am in love with the North Swedish horse. So, I have one in particular in mind, although the app now has a special color. So I'm thinking about raising one in the app and then seeing if I want to bring it into the game as well. Browsing through here, it looks like we have some of the previous year's Valentine's items. I know these polka dot Dalmatian uh, items, this set was super, super popular. A lot of people asked for that. Uh, the following year when it wasn't available, they were like, where is the polka dot set? Um, some older items as well. This dress is super cute. I don't remember that at all. I think this was last year's set. I don't think I have any of those pieces. Hmm. But what I'm most interested in is the Cantor Ella set. This and her regular colors, which are available at the Purple Pony, are exquisite. I love this costume. And then we have to check out the Knights of Unis Unistria because they have a little bit of a sci-fi feel. Oh, I'm in love. I'm so happy. It's a little bit different things to try out and use in the game. Also, these heart accessories for the bridal. I've never had these before, but I need them, obviously. Um, but I do like this blue set, too. I thought there was clothes that looked like that. Maybe I have the clothes. Huh. I must have the clothes. Was there a saddle for this set? Was it this? I'm sure you guys will let me know. But I really like the saddle pad. That's cool. Dun, 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 dun. We are now Cantor Ella, complete with blue eye makeup. <laughs> and we have to check in over here with the teddy bear seller, because I have some of them. But I do believe there are some new colors. Yes, a purple teddy, a turquoise teddy, and a dark blue teddy. Plus, a Valentine's horse that looks just like our rainbow Yorvik wild plushie, but it's brown and he holds a little heart. My heart, obviously, because he's so cute. Ugh, oh, amazing. I guess we're, we're missing a few other ones. The white teddy and the gray teddy, I'm not going to be picking up. But brown and yellow? I can't believe I don't have those. Definitely the turquoise purple and dark blue for 19 star coins. Score! So if we zoom in a little bit. Oh, the blue one looks super rad. Oh, this little pony. The purple, I like these colors. They stand out a lot. The, the green stands out a lot as well. And the yellow and the brown, of course. I don't know. I kind of want to use the teddies. But that horse is just so gosh darn cute. <laughs> Let me know which teddy bear is your favorite in the comments below. I might have to vote uh, purple or the dark, the dark blue for me. Look at us, we're so cool. Echo Mint might be a great horse to take to the mall to try out all of the tack on. So we might wait to get the North Swedish horse. And we'll head to the mall and do that, get that sorted first. Maybe I'll even take his tack off of him entirely. That sounds like a plan to me. And here we are outside the purple pony. Love the sign, love the door. And I'm very excited. On the left, we can see Cantarella on her horse. I forget the name of the horse. And the Knights of Unist Unistria are on the right. Well, one of them anyway. I think that's Candy. And we can see there's a little purple unicorn saddlebag pet. I don't think that's available right now, but maybe in the future? Who knows? Oh, this is going to be amazing. Love the sign. And here we are! It's a very sci-fi, slightly fantasy theme. We've got the books on the left and the stars in the sky. And Sulphur Glade Castle is right there in the middle. Oh, amazing. So we're incorporating a little bit more uh, elements that we don't necessarily see, such, 
such as the Knights of Unistria because they're very sci-fi focused. Although we do have that spaceship. So it might tie in more than we think. But so these are entities that the citizens of Jorvik appreciate and, and are fans of in their daily lives. So if you were to visit Jorvik and turn on the TV, you might see cartoons of these characters or you might find their comic books somewhere in the stores in Jorvik, those types of things. So they're they're kind of real entities to these Jorvikian citizens, which is really cool. It adds a whole new life to the island, I think. <laughs> and I'm sure we'll find out more about them as we go. I love this kind of dollhouse style <laughs> silver glade castle. I would like it for my house, please. I wonder what books they read here in Jorvik. So we are gonna hop over here into one of these changing stalls and try and refrain from buying all of the clothes, at least at first. So right away, the first thing we're going to do is, oh good, when we're up close you can see kind of the details of the Cantorella costume. There's uh, embroidered flowers on her jacket and detail on the inside of the cape. It's really, really cool. You can see it a little bit more on her regular color jacket, which is blue and purple with red accents. The rope across her front to hold on the cape, amazing. Now. Our next task that we've purchased, now that we've purchased Cantarella, is we have to decide which Knight of Unistria we would like to be. On Nova, I purchased Dawn's outfit, which is a uh, purple into orange style. Looks great on her. I'm really partial to the blue, though, because, of course, it's me and it's blue. So who's that? Azura. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, this one is uh, another blue. I guess this is more of a blue into teal turquoise this is just straight up blue eclipse candy is bright pink like i said before dawn is the purple into orange and pearl is purple into a faded pink color really really cool and i really want to know which one you guys picked we'll have to do a poll or something and see how everyone's favorite night of unistria is i cannot wait until we find out more about these characters and now is the trick the trick is to make sure I buy the correct pants. Yes. Azura. Azura's boots. And my Unistria visor. Okay, so let us try out these things. Here's our regular Cantarella costume. It's stunning. Stunning. And the feather accent on top. Oh, it almost matches my feather earrings. Um amazing okay now we have to try out our unistria costume super cool of course we'll have to hide the hat oh i like it so much ah so there we are with our hidden hat i kind of like how since i picked blue my makeup matches now so we might have to run around as uh what was her name azura Azura! Where are we going? Oh, we need to get Tack as well! Echo Mid needs Tack! So he can fit the theme too! We would have to make sure we buy the correct equipment to match. Azura, there it is. Kandar Ella's saddle is beautiful. Look at the roses! Wow! They're all so cool! I like these colors! We also need Cantarella, so we're sticking with the theme. We're sticking with Azura. This would be Azura's tack for her horse to match her outfit. It's adorable. I can tell you on Nova, Dawn's looks really good as well. And here we have Cantarella's tack, which is beautiful. You can get two types of saddle pads. You can get the smaller square one or the bigger rounded one. Both look super cool. I think I might like the square one a little bit more, but both are very fitting. But since we are wearing our Knights of Unistria costume, I'm going to switch back over to this tag. And we are going to go from there. There's Echo Mint, looking amazing and ready to fight space crime. <laughs> I don't know. Definitely, definitely fight space crime maybe fight space crime but definitely 
ready to buy North Swedish horns. Let's go. Never fear, Azura is here to purchase this particular North Swedish horse. Yay! He's so handsome! The North Swedish horse is an old breed with its roots in the countryside of northern Scandinavia and has been bred for work in forestry and agriculture. Origin and environment have shaped the North Swedish horse into a steadfast, hardy horse with a gentle, cooperative character, making them an excellent fit as pleasure and family horses. These agile heavyweights shine in all disciplines such as jumping, western riding, dressage, and even races. Level restrictions 8, although I do believe there's one in Fort Pinta right now that is uh, restricted to level 1, uh, so everyone can get it. But this one and the Palomino are here in Valedale. Level restriction 8. <laughs> 749 star coins. We 100% are buying this horse. I'm so excited. I love the coats on this horse. That might be my favorite thing, but his hair is super cool too. He looks a little emo. I love it. I love it. Why, yes, I'd like to introduce you all to Hawk Shadow. A little bit different name than I usually go for, but I don't know. It just seemed really fitting for this horse. And he also looks awesome in the Knights of Unistria tech. Uh, obviously, we can't put the leg wraps on him, but that's okay because he still looks super cool. I love it. So we need to do Steve's race with Hawk Shadow and see how it goes. Slowly. But surely. I'm usually not a big fan of racing the larger horses. I think they're a little bit more difficult to race, at least for me. But that's okay. He's beautiful, and not every horse in my stable needs to be a race horse. <laughs> Oops. I just. Maybe I'm too busy looking at it, but I feel always a little bit more clumsy with the bigger horses. It's probably not the horse's problem by any means. It's probably entirely a Stacy problem. <laughs> Coming in at the end. Awesome. Oh, so they also have a special rear. And when they land, the dirt kicks up and there's a special thud. It's so cool. <laughs> Hey guys, I know it's probably a little weird that I'm doing another kind of intro in the middle of a video, but I wasn't able to record as long as I wanted to last time, and so I had to break up my recording a little bit. You'll also notice I don't have my camera for this part of the episode, and that is because I've been packing. I essentially have to have everything packed any day now uh, because I'm leaving for my move to Sweden. So basically, no camera, at least for the foreseeable future. <laughs> I do have a few games, though, coming up that I have no problem not using the camera for, but so I might be doing Star Stable videos without the camera as well. Uh, we'll see how it goes, and then after probably like a month or two, <laughs> once my stuff ships, I'll have it back again. I'll see maybe about bringing it in my suitcase, who knows. But anyway, I'm here. Again, it's still Valentine's. I have the entire Valentine's set for this year. I love the bouquet and the saddlebag. I think that's probably my favorite piece, but this outfit is so much fun, so I had to try it out. Right now, I'm doing the Valentine's race with Arena, who is nice enough to come over and do it with me, and she obviously has a much faster horse than I do. <laughs> But I wanted to make sure that I got this race in a video because I think it's so cute. And I kind of like that you have to do it in a group because we don't have much in Star Stable at all that forces you to work in a group. Uh, for being an MMO, that's really unusual. And for the most part, I like it. But having a few things here and there that involve interacting with others is pretty exciting. Oh, I didn't think we were going to make it up that hill, but we did. I think I said this last year, but I wish all races had symbols floating in the air, like the hearts. It makes it way easier to see where I'm supposed to go. Hey, everyone! Oh, oh no! Oh no! Jumping is not allowed here! Oh no! Oh no, quick jumps. Oh, phew. Hooray! Thank you, Arena Blue Hill, for doing this race with me. I really appreciate it. 
So there's also a new race for Valentine's this year. You must have completed the group race first, and then you could try the new race. But this one you could do solo. Hello there, Cadence. Is it just you and Hawk Shadow? That's totally cool. Valentine's is for everyone. To celebrate the special bond between the two of you, we set up a special jumping course. Enjoy! Oh no, I'm really not that great at jumping. Jumping courses. <laughs> We'll give it a go, though. We'll give it a go. Now where am I going? Oh no! Oh no! Phew, it still counted. Okay, way over there. Way over there. I think this race is a little more forgiving than most. Oh, there's water there! Oh, we cleared it. <laughs> I guess slowing down a little helps. I'm glad Hawk, Hawk Shadow's only at level two. <laughs> as long as we're between the balloons, we're okay. You almost have to go a little bit slower because the jumps are so close together. I don't know, you guys are pros. I'm sure you'll tell me the best way. What? 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 Oh, we did it. Ah, <laughs> yes. Oh, now we're going this way over the water. Sure. Oh, we knew that was going to happen at some point, of course. <laughs> Holy smokes! Watching you two breeze through the course was amazing. Capital A. Well, why didn't you capital A it there, Low? Cadence and Hawk Shadow, the dream team. Come back anytime if you want to try for a better time. Enjoy the Valentine's celebrations. See you. Adios. And Hawk Shadow leveled up. Oh, that's right, because this race gives like 750 XP. That's amazing. Thanks for checking out some of the new content with me, you guys. I have some druid training to do, and I will catch you guys next time. Bye!